what is up everybody my name is advance and this is advance plays back again with spider-man ps4 and where we last left off mary jane and peter parker had reunited and we had a stan lee cameo then there was police sirens and spider-man had to get back to work so the um what ended up happening was that there was a call from his detective friend who said that Shocker was on a rampage. Well, not really on a rampage, but he was stealing some stuff. So now we got to go chase him down. Trouble Shocker's into this time. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. 
Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Oh, Peter, I just started a mystery novel you might like. Thanks, I'll check in with you later. Now, where did I put my library card? <sighs> What's this world coming to? That cute social worker was here again today. You want to meet her, you let me know. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, but she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. a big win for police and the first major takedown for Fisk, hoping to end his long-term reign over the city. And as of this morning, no Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. I can patch these shoes. They'll last a while yet. So, I got the job. May's recommendation really helped. People know that when she says something, she means it. Looks like May's not in yet. Miss you.
So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Ah, <sighs> he's right. How did I lose track of time? does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work... in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This chick in the back. This is opportunity knocking. I mean, I know she's not a major character, but she looks mad suspicious. Anyone else notice that Norman Osborne was wearing green? Easy, easy, easy. They didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. 
If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. Even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey. One of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. about these before you left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high, and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Best smokestack picture I ever took. Great light on that one. Perfect. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should take a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank.
Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb us? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Actually, he was trying to talk to you. Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. His suit is kind of hard. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables? Now I can do some real damage. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Herman? Because of my soul! Don't kill me! Okay, catch this one with your face! You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trade. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Herman. Tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden okay Yuri shockers all yours now good work we have a special cell waiting for him at the raft we'll make sure he stays behind bars this time also I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey! The Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. So concludes this episode. I am Advance and always will continue to be. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. I'm out.